how to create a company page on LinkedIn. So when you log into LinkedIn, as yourself, your personal profile, you can create a company page by going along the top menu here and you want to go to the work option, click on that menu and at the very bottom it says create a company page. Click on that option and you have these different options in here. Now what we're going to do is choose either a small business if you've less than 200 employees or a medium to large business. Don't worry about these other two, this is for universities and schools and this is for a sub page which happens underneath your main company page. But that's not what we're doing today. Today we're going to choose a small business type. So let's get started with a few details. So you want to have thought about this in advance. So what is the page name? And it should be really reflective of your company. So let's say um, linking in podcast, for example. And it says, yes, that's available. So if it's not available, it'll tell you. And now we'll have, literally, it's creating our URL here. So you want to include your website address for your business. That is not an essential piece. So anything with an asterisk is required. Um, so the name is required. The website is not required. You do, however, want to choose an industry that you are in. And you can start typing. Now, podcasting does not appear in here however you may want to choose let's think about this um mine is a marketing podcast so i will choose marketing and advertising company size so we currently have um have some contractors and not employees but they do want to be attached to my company page so i'm going to say company size over two people company type it is a um privately held company so the next step is you want to add your company logo. So it should be 300 by 300 pixels, so it's a square. So I will just go now and choose my logo. I'm just searching through my computer for my square shaped logo. Go across here. There we are. And click open. Okay, upload is complete. Um, if it's the wrong size or if it is um, not supported, you will be given an error message here. So then you want to think about what is your tagline. And it gives you an example. A family-run accounting firm that promises you won't leave, lose sleep over filing your taxes. Okay. So weekly podcast sharing tips and advice on how to use LinkedIn. All right. And then you have to click that you verify that you are the authorized um, representative of this organization. And you click create page. Okay. So the page is now created and LinkedIn are going to give me some steps to walk through here so that I make sure that I have really um, got my page ready for people to see it and for me to start marketing on it. So it says you want to include your description, your location, and your first post. So I'm going to click on add for description. And in here, we're going to say, um, find out how to use LinkedIn for business. Please host a new podcast. So think about what you want to be found for on search engines here. And you want to include keywords. So a wiki podcast, um, helping small business owners and entrepreneurs who want to use LinkedIn for lead generation would be something. So LinkedIn for lead generation is something someone types into the Google search engine. Um, want to use LinkedIn for lead generation. Um, build a valuable network on LinkedIn and win business. Okay. Now you have 2,000 um, characters in here. I've only used 226. So think about what you want to actually say in here. Okay, we've got the website and the industry, company size, privately held. You can then add in your business phone number and you can also add in the year that your company was founded. Okay. Then you can add in specialities in here. And for some reason, this doesn't ever work on my computer. <laughs> so I'm not able to add it right now. That's okay. I'm going to click save. And that is the basic um, information on 
page. Let's just try this one more time. Oh, not working. Okay, so location, you can add a location if you want to. You do not have to. Um, and then community are hashtags. So it could be, if you want to create a hashtag around your business and company on LinkedIn, then you could use one of these. Um, but otherwise, I suggest that you use a hashtag that other people are using on um, LinkedIn. So if you start to type in your word, uh, LinkedIn tips is a good one for me and also then LinkedIn strategy. So you can add three hashtags. The reason you add hashtags in here is because you will then have the ability to comment on someone's post where they have used that hashtag in their post as your company page. Okay. Let's click on save. And then if you have any groups, you could add those groups in here. Um, so I do actually have some groups. Okay. Okay, let's just find it. Oh, there's a lot. <laughs> with there we go. Linking in with Louise, and that can be added into the page as well. Okay. And uh, let's just double check these bits. So page information is all there. That's super. Um, and then buttons, so buttons to display on your page. And the one that shares is the preview. It is visit website. Uh, it could be contact us. Um, and that would also, that would click and send to my um, URL as well. Um, or learn more, again, whatever action you want someone to take um, on that button and you click save. So what does this look like on the page? It's encouraging me to share a post, which I'm not doing because I'm only creating this page for the purpose of you guys. So you can see how to do it. Okay. I have unlocked invite to follow. So if you do this, so as we scroll down, first of all, I want to show you what the page looks like to someone who is viewing it as externally. So it's got the logo here and it's got the follow and the learn more button. And it's got um, information about the business in here. So that's nice. You know, it's, it, it's nice and concise and, and smart looking. But what's missing is, well, first of all, we haven't got followers yet because we've only started up. Um, but the other thing that's missing is the cover image. So I want you to create a cover image that fits these sizes. And how you can do this is you can use a website called canva.com to create your images. And I will create some content around that for, the, for you on this channel as well. So do go and check out the other videos here on the channel. But you want to add a cover image in here. And if you don't have one, then just if you want to get your page up and published, let's go and create and find an image to share. Okay, so I've gone into my um, folders and I've typed search on cover just to uh, pull up a cover image that we can use. So let's choose this one. Click open and you can then drag that and rearrange that so um, that it looks the way you want it to look. So obviously choose an appropriate image. As I said, you can use Canva to have a branded image in there. That's really the best idea. So we have got our page. It is all set and ready. Let's view it as a member. Looks good. The next thing you need to do is start creating content to share on your page and inviting people to follow you. So you can invite connections to follow you here. So these are your personal connections. So I could invite someone, literally you just click invite. Um, here's where you start your posts, which we'll show down in the middle here. If you create events for your company, those will show up here. And here are the three hashtags that we are following. So um, for example, if I click on hashtag LinkedIn tips, and it will show me some posts using that hashtag. So we can see that 18,258 people are following that hashtag. Now, a word of advice, don't follow hashtags just because they've got a lot of followers. Only follow them if they are relevant to your business. But in this example, I can now go to Liam's post, um, which has got a poll about LinkedIn. And you can see down here, instead of my personal profile here, I will be commenting as my new page in here. So that's a good way of getting uh, people to check out, to click over to find out more about your page. 
So hopefully you find this useful. Uh, if you did, let me know below and let me know any questions you have about using the company page on LinkedIn. I'd be delighted to answer those below and good luck.